good afternoon, or good day, everyone. Once again, I'm Mr. N, and today I'll be discussing about solving quadratic equations by using the quadratic formula. So, let's have a recall, a review about this um, term. Solution set or roots? So these are the values of the variable that will satisfy the equation. And we can solve quadratic equations by using exacting square roots, factoring, completing the square, and using the quadratic formula. And this time class, we're going to deal with quadratic formula. Once again, solving quadratic equations by using quadratic formula. So the quadratic formula, it states that if a x squared plus b x plus c is equal to zero, where a, b, and c are real numbers, and a should not be equal to zero, then x is equal to negative b plus or minus square root of b squared minus 4ac all over 2a. So that's the quadratic formula. Now, how, do, how did we derive from this formula? So you can look into your module to see the step-by-step -step process on how we come up with this formula. Or you can search in the Google, OK? Now let's proceed with examples. Let's have example number one. Solve 2x squared minus 6x minus 8 is equals to 0. So using the, qu the quadratic formula, we're going to identify first no, what are the values of a, b, and c. That's step number one. So the value of a is 2, the value of b is negative 6, and then the value of c is negative 8. Now this time, we're going to substitute the values to the formula. Using the formula, this one, so we, we're going to substitute negative b, uh, so yes, negative b, b is equal to negative 6, and then uh, a is equal to 2, and then c is equal to negative 8, over 2a, a is equal to 2, okay? So we're then substituting, no? We're going to the next step. We're going to simplify. So simplify, negative times negative 6 is positive 6. And then the square of negative 6 is 36. Negative 4 times 2 is negative 8. Tapos times negative 8. Okay. All over 2 times 2 is 4. Let's simplify further. We have now this one. 6 plus or minus square root of 36, and then negative 8 times negative 8 is positive 64, all over 4. Next, we're going to add no, or combine the number or numbers or terms inside the radical sign or square root sign. 36 plus 64 is 100. So we have now 6 plus or minus square root of 100 all over 4. Now, let's have the square root of 100. What is the square root of 100? Very good. Positive or negative 10. And now, we have x equals to 6 plus or minus 10 all over 4. So we have two operations here. One is plus and one is negative so, or minus. So we need to separate them first before simplifying. So separate them. Okay. So we have 6 minus 10 all over 4. And then on the other side, we have 6 plus 10 all over 4. Simplify, 6 minus 10 is negative 4 over 4. And then on the other side, we have 6 plus 10, that's 16 over 4. And simplify, what is negative 4 divided by 4? Negative 4 divided by 4 is negative 1. And 16 divided by 4 is positive 4. Therefore, class, the roots are negative 1 and 4. Or simply, we can, we can uh, write the answer in this form. 
um, solution set, negative 1 and 4. Question. Okay, very good. So let's have example number 2. Find the roots of x squared plus 9x minus 7 is equal to 0. Once again, identify the value of a, b, and c. a is equal to 1, b is equal to 9, and c is equal to negative 7. Now, substitute the values to the formula. So we have the formula negative b plus or minus square root of b squared minus 4ac all over 2a. We're going to substitute. b is 9. So lahat ng b, papalitan natin ng 9. And then a, 1. C is negative 7. Okay. So we have now negative, negative 9 plus or minus square root of 9 squared minus 4 times 1 times negative 7 all over 2 times 1. Okay. Now step number 3, we're going to simplify it. So simplify. That's it. So negative 9 plus or minus 9 times squared is 81. And then negative 4 times 1 is negative 4. It's negative 7 all over 2 times 1 is 2. Okay, simplify further. We have negative 9 plus or minus. We just uh, multiplied negative 4 by negative 7, and that is positive 28. So we have now negative 9 plus or minus square root of 81 plus 28 all over 2. And um, combine 81 and 28 by addition. So we have now negative 9 plus or minus square root of 109 all over 2. So since we have plus or minus there, we have two operations, so we need to separate them before we simplify. So we have now negative 9 minus the square root of 109 over 2, and negative 9 plus the square root of 1 over 109 all over 2. Or uh, appro uh, approximate value is negative 9.72. If you are going to use calculator to get the approximate um, value of x, that's the result, negative 9.72. And in the right side, the approximate value using scientific calculator will be 0 0.72. Okay? But if your teacher uh, is not requiring you use calculator, um, the one on the upper part will be the final answer. So, solution set now. The roots are negative 9 minus square root of 109 over 2 and negative 9 plus square root of 109 over 2. Okay, so nakasimplify na siya. Ayun yung solution set natin, magiging solution set. But if you use calculator, you can just uh, simply use that instead of these roots, no? Yung approximate value natin kanina, values natin kanina. Okay, now let's have... Oh, that's it. Okay, thank you for listening. And I hope you learned something from this discussion. Thank you very much.